Port Town, it's got an edge and it's got a verb about it. The atmosphere inside the stadium has been strong. The prize is great, 116 become eight. Poland haven't reached the last four of a major tournament for 34 years. And it was in the World Cup of 1982 in Spain. That is the prize that is on offer. Poland in white, the deep red shirts of Portugal. And referee is Felix Brick. Andy Townsend is alongside me. Andy, it's been over three decades, but how did Poland end that long wait to get through to the last four of a major tournament? Weekend, this is Krasicki trying to scamper down the touchline, and Southampton's Cedric Suarez with the tackle. Poland's games are almost always among, amongst the lowest scoring. This is Krasicki looking for Lewandowski. Oh, yes! Finally! Well, he's been waiting a very long time for that. But Poland only had to wait one minute and 40 seconds to get off the mark. His goal-scoring touch for his country has been gone since November, but it is back just when it starts to get serious. Another Sanchez. Since we were there, nibble. Just to be a little bit careful. Over is dispossessed. And Poland turning over for Pogiak's one a free kick. What a start it has been. This one is near side for Cedric trying to get it back to Cristiano Ronaldo, but Pazdan was alert to the danger and it's out for the first corner of the evening. It's Nani, the other is Ronaldo. It was fired into the body of Nani, but Flick made sure it didn't go any further. It's another corner. Still more to come from them. There might be more to come from Poland here. This is Lewandowski trying one from distance. It's Milik actually who caught that prior to the start of the season he first joined up with uh, Ajax he was practicing his finishing with Dennis Burkamp Ronaldo has won a free kick straight into the wall and Pepe tries the chance and it's straight into the arms of Rui Patricio Trying to take on Pepe, shooting from distance and probably a little bit ambitious, but he won the corner. And it's going towards the near post. This is Grzycki, squares it and there's no one to tap it home. That would have been pleasing on the eye. Milik trying to get on the end of this, Pepe away. And Pichet, lifting it over Elisayu and then being courted by Jose Font. Blaszczykowski, pass past that, and the shot is straight at Lucas Fabianski. Cross goes Ronaldo, was there a push on Ronaldo there? Well, the Portuguese fans think so, he is glaring at Felix Brick. Look, that looks like a penalty, the more I'm seeing that, I can understand perhaps why the referee didn't give it. He's down there, he can see the flight of the delivery, if he feels that's always beating Ronaldo. <laughs> Good reactions. As of yet, this is Renato Sanchez from Nani. Renato Sanchez! There's a bit of potential that I reckon he might well fulfill. It's a banging hit from Renato Sanchez. The wonder kid arrives at Euro 2016, and Portugal are level. And there was a collision on the edge of the area. Ronaldo is rolling around in agony. Tumble and that's a free kick. And it's ball in. On the counter, Nedvedchuk has run into trouble. And he's going to get spoken to by the referee. Could be the first yellow card of the game. Decent looking cross to, and it's a diving header which Lewandowski didn't quite get the right amount of purchase on. Yeah, that's a difficult one to pick up off the surface. This is Nani. Ronaldo could be in here, it's Ronaldo, side netting. He did have Jean Mario waiting in the centre, but he wanted to take it on himself. Pepe coming back. In the end, Kukoviak was forced into making a foul as he was tussling for the ball. Just winding one up and flying towards the far post, and not sure that Fabianski had that covered. Swept forward towards Ronaldo, Licks made a challenge here, which is surely going to yield a yellow card. It's to be a card, doesn't it, yeah? Now Milik, 
Rosicki, Edricic. Milik's in the centre here. And he got something on that. And it was a good reaction saved by Rui Patricio. And Adrian Silva is being replaced by Jao Moutinho. Trying one from distance. Never looked set, never looked confident. And in towards Pepe. It's Fock with the header. And it's saved by Lucas Fabianski. Jao Mario. With ten minutes to go. Came off the bench against Croatia too. Here is that change that we mentioned could happen. Off comes Grzycki, and on comes Kapuska. He's only 19 years of age. Jean Martinho, Ronaldo, and the flag stayed down. Wow. It's a little push by Milik, and the referee has given the free kick in Portugal's favour. And it will represent a chance. Charisma and Pepe with a header. Left side flag was up. And he was tracked back there by William Carvalho. That's going to be a yellow card. And he is going to miss the semi final. Decent looking cross towards Ronaldo. It's another chance. Wow. Didn't expect it to come through to him. Didn't sort his feet out. Danilo coming on. Of course, William Carvalho cannot play in the semi final. Should Majinski, who is he's going to be replaced too. Thomas Godlovic, Nashikovsky again. Lewandowski's just starting to move. There's space for Milik as a result. It's Milik who shoots. Could he not have played that into Lewandowski? Killing free. Then trying his chances. And it was almost like it was. Thomas gone with it. So Lewandowski's holding on to it. And it's a Portuguese throw. The youngster, Kapuska. And he squared that through the six yard box, but it was. Too big for Lewandowski and for Milik. Yeah. The referee's looking at his watch, he's put his whistle to his lips. And that's it. The 120 is up. The first semi-finalist at Euro 2016 will be decided by penalty kicks. And Ronaldo said of Messi after his miss in the Copa America, missing a penalty doesn't make you a bad player. Fabianski was late to join. Ronaldo, 1-0. He's done his bit. Big players first. Lewandowski hit the top corner with the first penalty. Easy. Rolled it in superbly. 1-1. Renato Sanchez. And it's unmistakable. No chance, Fabianski. Arkadius Milik has suffered criticism. He rolled his in against the Swiss. It's Milik. It's 2 2. Jao Martinho of Monaco is the next Portuguese man with the responsibility. Jao Martinho, goalkeeper goes the wrong way. And it's 3 from 3 for Portugal so far. Good one. Camille Glick comes up to take the third penalty for Poland. Glick wasn't. 3 3. Now. Nani has scored twice at the tournament. Didn't take a penalty this season. It's Nani with a stuttered run-up and a composed finish. Number four on Saturday was Blaszczykowski. Number four tonight is the former Polish captain. It's Blaszczykowski. It's a really good save. Devastating for Blaszczykowski. Into the semi-finals. It's Ricardo Koresma for Portugal. In and through. Portugal have risen to the task again. They have beaten the team that have lost just once in two years. And by hook or by crook, they have got themselves into the last four of the European Championships. They needed extra time, late, late extra time against Croatia.